Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brandon and I am the Accidental Excellus. This is video tutorial number six in a series of video videos I'm doing on a uh, how to create a CRUD style app or tool in Microsoft Access and what we're doing is we're creating a customer database that you can <coughs> will have actually a form based front end that will allow us to enter in new customers it will allow us to view the customer database table the existing customers it will allow us to access those single records and edit or delete those records as needed so it will be a crud style app to create read update and destroy or delete whichever one you um, want to go with so uh, at this point <clears throat> what we've done is we've created our uh, database table our customers table over here in the access objects you can see we've also created or began to create our first form which is our new customer form as you can see it's right here we've done a little bit of formatting and we need to get to the rest of it and make this look a lot nicer so without further ado I'm going to get started uh, I'm in the um, actual form view at this point I need to go back to the design view and so a couple of things I want to do I'm just going to rearrange things uh, first thing uh, I need to do is I want to bring in or I want to bring this ID field or text box over closer to the ID label and so remember uh, to do that without you know these labels and these fields are linked to one another so if I move one with uh, by using the double or four-sided arrow over the orange uh, outline it moves both of them uh, so let me control Z to back up. I have to use the double sided arrow on the um, on the gray box in the upper left hand corner to move one uh, while not moving the other. So note there that I was able to move the first name label above the first name uh, text box and that's what I wanted to do. Now I need to click into that label <clears throat> to uh, make the cursor active and I'm going to go between first and last name and I'm gonna put a space. So I'm going to change things there a little bit. Now we can go back to um, our, our form view a little bit and see what's happening here and you can see the, the movement that we've made. Let's go back to design view and actually what I want to do now is I want to, let me go ahead and uh, work on last name as well, get that started. And now I want to move this back down below and then make sure that we're aligned actually I'm gonna to have to move well this is actually good uh, let me widen first name a little bit then I'll widen last name a little bit uh, and again I just select into that text box go over here to the uh, far right and get the double-sided arrow that moves it left or right extend that out a little bit that looks good to me uh, actually, let me go over here to ID now, bring that in. It's four digits, so it doesn't need a whole lot of room there. And so now we're kind of getting into a, a, a situation where I'm just arranging things. Also, the other thing to note, I can use my mouse, but I can also use the arrow buttons on my keyboard. So with ID selected, if I press the right key, the right arrow key notice and, and the left arrow key notice, I can move it back and forth. I can move it. Uh, up and down with the up and down arrow so that's another option and so I'm just trying to line those up nicely the other thing I want to do from a design perspective I want to find what's my sign up date so let me bring um, I want to bring sign up date closer here the label closer so I uh, did that now I'm going to watch what I do here so I can use the ruler like we did above as long as I select the the same like um, a vertical level as those elements it will select those but I can also take my cursor inside or my mouse in, inside the grid and I can uh, left click and drag and notice what's happening there as I'm dragging this it'll select whatever I, I you know drag over so I drag that over those two elements and now I can uh, move those again I really don't have to highlight both since they're linked but just to show you how to do that now I can grab that bring that up and kind of um, align that with my ID on the vertical level and then align it on the right hand side 
Um, that's probably more space than we need, but we'll see. We, we, can, uh, we can fix that as we go along. And then um, the next thing I want to do is I'll click on the email address label, bring that above email address. And then um, that actually needs to come over a bit. So I'll use my arrow. Oh, you know what? I've got to take that this way manually. All right. So let's look at. So one of the things I can do, if you notice here, let me move this just a little bit along this grid line. You can see it better. So notice how the email ad address text box is lined right up with this two, this two inch line, but the email address label is not, it's a little bit over, but if I bring it over manually, and it actually goes right on that line. I was going to say one of the things that you can do is go back to like we did in the previous video when we were looking at the size of our text box, our height and width. You can also look at the um, look at the alignment. So right now, email address, the alignment on the left is showing two, which is right on that two inch line, which is right on. And then also using the top. So if you're looking to align your elements, just use those properties there in your property sheet. Um, so let me bring, let me see here. So yeah, so actually, you know, one of the things that I, I think I want to bring this up, I'm gonna bring these up as well. And then um, I'll have to do a little more of that. Um, let me bring, let me bring these guys down. I can use my arrow key to do that a little bit. And then um, I want to bring, let's see, what's my, let me go over here. Let's see the left on that one. I'm just going to copy that from this element, the first name text box. And then I'm going to highlight all these guys. I'm going to hold shift down while I highlight all these. And I want the left to be uniform for those. So I'm going to paste that in, control V, and boom, there we go. Um, on this one, let's see. Actually, I want to know the height. What's the height on the ID? So I'll go here. I'll copy that. I will now select sign up date. Actually, I only need to select that one. Let's go to height. Control V. I guess it is the same height. It just doesn't look like it. That's that's really helpful because like my eyes are totally deceiving me. It looks like sign up date was lower than the ID, but that was a good way to check that if you go into the properties. And, um, oh wait, height 2.2188, um, let me, uh, hold on a minute. Actually, what I want is the top, 0.4167, control C. No, it is, the, it is right, it is the same. So, I think, let's see, the top on this one is 0.6667. Yeah, so those are, those are where they need to be. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're doing some design work like this and uh, use that to your advantage. Um, let's see here. I actually want to bring this over a little bit. And I'm going to want <clears throat> email address um, over here. Let's go. We'll fix that in a second. That alignment on the left hand, left hand side. And I want to go down here and grab phone. Let's bring that up here. Um, yeah. And then bring this guy down underneath like the rest of them. Uh, let me look. Actually, we can look at all this in a minute. Um, so, yeah, that email address actually needs to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to bring that out here. And then the phone number, uh, bring that out to be kind of aligned with that last name, that right edge of the last name. And then I want to get address and city on the same um, same row or same level. Yeah, same row. And bring that up, bring this down underneath. And then uh, city, I want to bring that up here. Oops. And um, actually, address needs to be pretty wide. So we'll bring city down. 
That's looking like I'm going to have to widen this form a little bit, but that's okay. Um, oops. So let me widen that out a little bit. Kind of get these elements in the um, kind of the alignment that I want. I'm going to move kind of fast here. Um, I think you get the, the idea of how to move these around and then um, make sure I'm kind of working with the same idea. Let's see. Um, country is going to go. Yeah, I'm going to have to widen this. <laughs> so I just realized because I want to put all the, I want to put the zip, the postal code the state and the country all in the same row. And so I need to bring this up. This is gonna to be too wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and start widening that out a little bit and then bring this up. Actually the state text box is too wide because it's just abbreviation, so it's two digits. So I'll bring it out about the same width as the label. And then I can bring the postal code over um closer and then um double check now all of, all of my stuff's not quite aligned um vertically like i want it so uh we'll be fixing that but i think i think we're about where we want to be i've got a few like uh minor elements but if we go back to our uh, form view, you're starting to see how everything is more grouped together now. It's not all, you know, down on its own um, own row. And so everything's a little more intuitively um, organized out. There's a few things that I want to tweak, but we'll get to that. We'll actually fix the rest of these labels and then I'll get everything aligned just the way we want it in the next video. And I'm already noticing an issue with that state text box so we'll fix that too and we'll do that in the next video so good job if you're following along and you're getting it to look like um like mine's looking good job and i'll see you in the next video thanks everybody for watching please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at the accidental